three and a half billion users, all connected in a seemingly endless network known as the internet. But for something so significant in our daily lives, it often evades understanding. To many, the internet is an abstract idea, ubiquitous yet invisible. But the internet is as physical as anything else. You just need to know where to look. Since the days of the telegraph, massive cables spanning thousands of miles have connected us together along hundreds of coastlines across the globe. If you have ever been at a beach or on a train near a major city, odds are millions of people's data, including perhaps your own, have been flowing beneath your feet without you realizing it. All that data ultimately goes somewhere an increasing demand for cloud access has caused many service providers to move outside of cities to sites like this one, where data centers of the future are already operational and more are built every day. This is Ashburn, Virginia, a suburban community about an hour outside of Washington, D.C. You may not have heard of it, but odds are large amounts of your data reside here. On a daily basis, Ashburn sees 70% of the world's internet traffic pass through its city limits. Data centers are where information is stored and shared. Instead of storing data on the hard drive of your computer, someone else stores it for you within one of these facilities. Data centers are unique structures with unique requirements. There is enough power in one of these buildings to support a small town and enough cooling to air condition multiple shopping malls in the midst of an Arizona summer. Just as important as the structures themselves, so are the bits and pieces that reside within. Fiber optics are the veins and arteries of a data center. The internet wouldn't be the same without them, and certainly not as fast. As compared to traditional copper wire, fiber optics are 100 times as fast and can send multiple streams of information simultaneously. Made of nearly invisible strands of glass, fiber optic cables require extremely meticulous manufacturing. In the final stages of manufacturing seen here, either end of the glass wire is polished with a technique virtually identical to that of making camera lenses but on the scale of a human hair. With walls built, cables and computers ready, our data center is ready to accept data, and our journey is nearly complete. We now understand data centers store our data, and fiber optics connect everything both inside and outside data centers, but there's still one piece missing, and that is how information is shared. Data centers provide more than just channels for data to pass through. They also function as exchange points, making the internet vastly more efficient. Here we find ourselves in the Digital Realty Meet Me Room, a place where two separate companies can hardwire direct access to the next room over without sending data across the globe just to end up right back here. You can think of Meet Me Rooms as the heart of a data center, and data centers are generally only as good as the interconnection options Meet Me Rooms provide. Although the internet is physically comprised of cables, data centers, and exchanges, comprehending the physical pieces alone falls short in capturing our sense of the internet itself. The internet is people, information, knowledge, its behavior, its culture. It's not the physical pieces that define the internet. The internet is a shared human experience, a universal human consciousness, the only one in human history and largely still in its infancy. At Digital Realty, we strive to enable collaboration and prosperity through technology. We feel there is a great deal to look forward to in an increasingly connected and empowered world. Thank you for joining us on this journey.